Marilyn Monroe knew how to master her energy like a pro. And in today's training, I'm going to talk about how she did that and how you can do the same thing so that you can manifest the life of your dreams. If you want to find out more, then stay tuned. What's up, my beautiful friend, and welcome back. My name is Jen Stevens. I'm a holistic manifestation coach and creator of Recode Manifestation Academy. I'd love to welcome you aboard my YouTube channel today. So this is where I create a brand new free training for you every single week, all about the art of up-leveling your life by using the power of your mind. So if you are at all interested in achieving your goals and creating that big, beautiful, juicy life you've always dreamed about, then you'll want to join me for this journey by going ahead and hitting that subscribe button. So today I'm going to tell you all about the Marilyn Monroe approach to manifestation. And right now you might be like, oh my God, I've never even heard about Marilyn Monroe talking about manifestation. So I'm going to start off with a story and then explain why it's manifestation and explain how you can start to use it in your life. One of my favorite Marilyn Monroe stories is the story about when she was walking down the streets of, I think it was New York, with a friend. They were walking down the street, she was at the height of her popularity, yet nobody was paying attention to her. She was just another girl on the street and nothing really was happening. So I guess Marilyn had enough of being an average girl for that day and turned to her friend and said, watch this. <laughs> so in that moment, something inside of Marilyn Monroe switched over and instead of being just another girl on the street, she somehow turned in to Marilyn Monroe, the movie star. And from the second that she said that, the heads began to turn, the attention started to come in, suddenly people were trying to speak with her and there was like a mob forming around her. And the really interesting thing about this was nothing had really changed. It's not like she took off her jacket or let her hair down or did something else like that. This was entirely an internal change that apparently Marilyn Monroe was very good at creating. So I really love this story. On the outside, it is not about manifestation specifically, but what I wanna talk about here is how Marilyn obviously was a master of her energy. She could turn into a movie star just like that whenever she wanted to, and I guess she also knew how to turn it off and to blend away into the background and to become just another person on the street. So what does this story have to do with manifestation? Well, like I just said, this is all about energy. It's an internal shift that was not just noticeable to Marilyn and to her friend, but it was noticeable to every single person in the world around them. So I want you to start to think about this and maybe think about what your own version of Marilyn Monroe, the movie star would be. I like to call this like your inner Sasha Fierce or you know your inner whatever it is that you want to be. If you think about that big crazy life vision that you have for yourself, where you're living in maybe a gigantic house on the beach with some servants having a margarita, <laughs> I want you to think about that kind of person and think about what kind of energy that version of you would be having. So in the beginning, this might be a little bit difficult for you to wrap your mind around. So I suggest, you know, starting out with a journal, thinking about it, trying to kind of backwards extrapolate who this person is, how they would feel and what their energy would be like. Then the second step of this fun little game is to go out there and to start practice being Marilyn or practice being whatever your version of Marilyn is. Can you master your energy to this point where you can turn it on and turn it off, where I'm projecting, I'm receding into the background, or I'm projecting being out there, being famous, being noticed. This is a really fun thing that you can start to play with and you don't have to tell anybody about, and it really is just an energetic shift. So I want you to think about this as an energy game. Can you turn your energy on and off? Can you become that person you want to be? And of course, the next step of that is I'm going to ask you to start to step into that person, into that other version of you to keep that energy on for longer and longer periods of time. So in case you're new to the world of manifestation, 
Manifestation is not just, you know, I think about this thing that I want, and I'm going to sit back and wait until it happens. It is about you managing your energy and becoming that person you really want to be. There are so many different ways for you to do this. So I teach a lot about you know, raising your self-worth and healing from your past traumas within my Recode program. But simply thinking about this, thinking about the energy of who you want to be and starting to learn how to project that energy into the world is another way of doing that same thing. In the law of attraction, you are going to get back what you're putting out there. So the more that you are practicing putting out this successful, happy, confident, whatever energy into the world, the more that you are going to start to receive in the things that you want. I really love this story and it is such a powerful reminder that we have so much power within us. We have so much energy within us that we are actually in control of. Like no one takes you aside in school and teaches you how to master your energy. That is what I'm here to do right now on this channel to help you to learn what energy is, to learn how to master your energy and to learn how to start to project that back out into the world. Because when you can do that, that is when the things that you want start to come back into you. So there really is no reason why Marilyn Monroe could master her energy to this degree and that you should not be able to. So I really want to challenge you to start to play with that. Again, Figure out what the energetic needs to be. Figure out who you need to believe you are, what that person feels like. Figure out all those pieces. Then start to learn how to turn that energy on and off and then start to turn it on as much as possible. Start to radiate it out and start to become that person. And when that becomes your new baseline, that is when you know it is actually working and you are stepping into that next level version of you and the next level version of your life. So I really hope that you enjoy this concept. I think it is such a brilliant way to think about your energy and so much fun. So why wouldn't you want to try this one out at least? There are no coincidences. So I know that if you found this video today, you were meant to see this for a reason. I hope that you take whatever little nugget of knowledge you found here today and apply it to your life. Don't just watch this and let it sail by you and not take anything with you. The more that you bring these practices into your life, the more successful you are going to be. So I really challenge you to go ahead and do that for yourself. If you're interested in learning more about me, then I invite you to come over and check out my Recode Manifestation Academy. I'll leave a link for that in the description box below. And other than that, if you enjoyed this video, I hope you give me a big thumbs up. And other than that, I'll see you in next week's episode. So until then, happy manifesting, my friends. Happy holding your energy. And I will see you in the next one.